Hello Grade 2s and welcome back to Worksheet Cloud. Welcome to your Grade 2 Maths lesson for today and I hope that you are ready to learn with me and I hope you've had a lovely day so far. If there are any things during the lesson that you don't understand or if you have any questions you can just ask mommy or daddy to send an email to grade2 at worksheetcloud.com and we will try and answer your questions as quickly as possible. Now, if you haven't watched any of our lessons before, or if this is the first lesson that you are watching with me, my name is Teacher Taryn, and today we are going to learn all about capacity. Now, capacity is a very big word, and it actually has a very easy meaning. Capacity just means how much liquid can we fit in an item. So, if we use this glass as an example, how much water or liquid can we fit inside this glass? Or how much liquid is already inside the glass? So here you can see the ice blocks are floating around on top. So this glass is full. Now, how much water can fit inside this pool? Or can this pool hold? That would be the capacity of this pool. Or how much water we could fit inside this jug? Or how much water do you have in your bath at night or in the morning when you get in the bath? So capacity we measure in milliliters. Now this is a very big word. And we write milliliters like that for short. So it's a small m or a m. And a cursive L or a L for milliliters. Now, this is just the label that we put at the end that we can name our amount. Now, one cup is going to be 250 milliliters. So, I have a measuring jug over here. And if you look at this measuring jug, you can see that there are tiny black lines on this measuring jug over there and those little lines just mean that you are going to look on the measuring jug to see how many milliliters are inside this now why is this important if I want to bake a cake and you tell me that in my cake I need 250 milliliters of milk that is what the recipe says but if we didn't have a way to measure that milk, you could tell me, you just need a cup of milk. Now my cup could be a small cup, I could have a very tall cup, and how much would be inside that cup? Everybody's cup needs to be the same, so that if I want to follow a recipe, that my recipe will be a success. So 250 milliliters could be the same as one cup. Now, on here, on my measuring jug, I can see that 250 milliliters is around about there. And if I put too much milk in, or if I put too little milk in, my recipe is not going to work out. So, one cup is the label or the name we can give to 250 milliliters. Now, mommy and daddy might have a cup that they drink tea or coffee or hot chocolate out of, and you'll notice that those cups are all different sizes. So one cup is not always the same as the cup that you drink coffee or tea out of. That is just the name that we give to 250 milliliters. Now if we had to take this glass and we pretend that this glass is the same as 250 milliliters, one cup, then we could draw 250 little lines equally spaced on the side to be able to see where one milliliter might be or two milliliters or three milliliters or four and all the way up to 250 milliliters. Now if that is how we measure our liquids or our capacity. If we have one cup which is 250 milliliters. If we have two cups, 
and they're both 250 milliliters, how many milliliters are we going to have in total? We now need to add these two cups together and say that two cups is the same as 500 milliliters. If you look on my measuring jug over here, you can see that 500 milliliters is halfway over there. 250 was there and 500. So 250, that would be the same as one cup if I fill with water all the way up to 250. And if I add another 250, I'm going to get to 500 over there. So that is two cups. This is something we cannot add in our head all the time. This is something we just need to know. We just need to remember two cups is 500 milliliters. Now three cups. If I have three cups, and remember each cup is 250 milliliters, now instead of adding them together every single time I hear three cups, I just need to remember that three cups is 750 milliliters. If I look at my measuring cup, over here is 750 milliliters. Remember 250 was one cup, 500 milliliters is two cups, and 750 milliliters is three cups. Okay, so let's have a look at the next one. Four cups. So now we're going to have four cups, which are each 250 milliliters. Now I need to know that four cups are going to be 1,000 milliliters. And this measuring jug is 1,000 milliliters 250 one cup 500 milliliters two cups 750 milliliters is three cups and 1000 milliliters all the way till the top underneath the lid is going to be four cups but now we never talk about 1000 milliliters when we talk about four cups, which is 1,000 milliliters, as soon as we get to 1,000, the name changes. Because we never talk about 1,000 milliliters, we talk about one liter. Now, you might have heard this already, because you might have seen a one liter bottle of water or a one liter of cool drink. So, one liter is four cups. Now here's a water bottle that we might have all seen or drank from before and this has 500 milliliters of water inside this bottle. Now if I tip this bottle over, remember we said how many cups makes 500 milliliters? Yes, two cups. So if I needed to fill two cups, how many cups would I be able to fill with 500 milliliters? I would be able to fill two cups. And they would each be 250 milliliters. Now, if we have a one liter bottle of water, remember this was also a liter. Now, if we have a one liter bottle of water, how many cups would I be able to fill? If I tip it on its side, I would be able to fill four cups because each cup is 250 milliliters. If I had to add all these 250s, I would get to 1000 milliliters. And we know 1000 milliliters is one liter. Okay, now I have a two liter bottle of water. Now we had one liter was four cups. Now if I double the bottle is two liters, how many cups will it be? Yes, well done. It will be eight cups of water. If I tip this two liter bottle and I pour it into cups, I will be able to fill eight cups with water. 
Now we are going to have a look at a story sum. And a story sum is always a sentence with numbers in it that's going to give us an instruction. At our party, we have a one liter bottle of Coke. Coca-Cola, there we can see our one liter bottle. And they ask, how many glasses would we be able to fill? Now remember in the beginning we said that normally a glass is about 250 milliliters. Not all the time, but let's pretend that our glasses at our party are 250 milliliters, exactly the same as a cup. How many glasses would we be able to fill? We had one liter of Coke. If I tip the Coke over, let's see. I would be able to fill four glasses. Well done. Because each glass is going to be 250 milliliters. And there are four 250s in 1,000, which is one liter. Here you can see on the bottle, it says that there is one liter of Coke inside this bottle. Okay, I have to give my horse water to drink. I have to give her 500 milliliters of water at lunchtime. How many cups must I give her? I need to give her two cups. Because we said that two cups is equal to 500 milliliters. Now grade twos, you're all very clever boys and girls. The next time you pour yourself some juice or some water, have a look and see how much is inside there. You have a measuring jug that you can measure. So thank you for watching the lesson today, grade twos. And I hope that you can use this in the future if you want to bake something or follow a recipe, that you can see how much of a liquid needs to go into your baked goods. So this lesson was brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. I hope you have a lovely day further. And until the next time that we can learn together, goodbye, great twos.